So we've uh, left Tikkanini Campground this morning and we've headed, um, we just turned onto the road that heads towards Cape York. Uh, the other, like it comes to a section, they've got Cape York and Weeper. So we've gone up towards Cape York. But so here we go. We're about to head off and do the old telly track. After much discussion. After much discussion and talking to a few people and things like that. We're heading up in. Now apparently Palm Creek, they're saying that I probably wouldn't be able to cross that. Possibly. So, possibly. so we're going to go down and have a look and just see how, how bad it is. And we may have to come back out and go the bypass. Maybe. Let's see how we go. But here we go. We're off. We're in. We're doing it. We're very nervous. Well, Lorraine is very nervous. I'm a bit nervous. We've aired down. We're down to about 25 psi in the front and 30 in the back and 30 in the trailer. We may need to go lower. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. Track is already looking a bit ominous. So we'll just go slowly and carefully because there's a lot of camber and I don't want the trailer to hit anything because it gets awfully bloody close just there. Like that. Did it hit something? <laughs> oh, it did. It's going to hit that tree. Oh, <laughs> shit. Touched it. <laughs> Damn, it's oh. narrow. Okay. This is sort of not what we wanted. <laughs> but it's all part of the It's adventure. all part of it. It's going to hit that again, isn't it? No, it's not going to hit that Ooh. one. It's the uh, darchy. The darchy's clipping over yeah, there. Yeah, the the expensive bit. <laughs> <laughs> the darchy does stick out a little bit. It sure does. And yeah, it's sort of wider than the other. A lot wider than the car. Yeah. So. Anyway, so the first one is Palm Creek, we'll get down there, but from talking to a couple of people there, they're sort of saying they don't think this uh, will make it. So we'll see what happens when we get there, and we'll go from there, alright? We'll see it at Palm Creek. Yeah, this track is uh, yeah, very different. It's very narrow. There's another little obstacle we've got to go around. Most people do this way. My bloody trailer's a bit wider than the car, so yeah, where a car might fit through. Poor old trailer, she might not. So this is going to be interesting. Just the top part of the trailer's too wide. The wheel section follows me pretty good. Oh, they're good, eh? Yep. Yes. Oh, we well, just bounced off it. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, it's just the bounce. Yeah, it's just a kiss and a bounce. People are probably at this at Bramwell Station or Bramwell Roadhouse laughing. See that thing go down there? <laughs> yeah, better get a tow truck. <laughs> I just uh, hope there's someone behind us. Oh, <laughs> be silly enough oh, to come around this Shiza, time. that one I got it. That's going to hit the tent. Nope, just Hang there. on. I had to go that way, mate. I had to go that way. It's all right. I'm just, I'm just trying to get everything around here. There's a big tree in front. I didn't see it. Oh, you saw it. I was just trying to get the trailer over here. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a slow drive, man. It is. Where's the first campsite? I don't know, but where the bloody hell does this track go? Hmm, this is a bit off camber. You might hug the edge on this side. And hopefully... Go up there, I don't know if the car will go up there. What are you doing? We're gonna go down in this big hole. Not if I sort of try and keep it on this edge. I keep trying to climb it up the edge here. Don't forget we've got the trailer behind us too and that can go down the big hole. Uh, there it goes. Oh. Oh, oh, hit the tree, we're dragging it. Oh, we just about fucked the tree up. <laughs> oh, my lordy. <laughs> well, if you want to have fun, this is the way to do it. All right, now we go up. 
up this way a bit. Get around that. Alright, we did it. Woohoo! Alright, let's go and see you at the other end. Here we go. We've got a bridge over the top. <laughs> We're through. You can take your hands off your ears now. <laughs> I just want to, didn't want to hear the crabs. <laughs> so this is Palm Creek Crossing. This is the first obstacle. That we're not doing. Yes, and we're not doing it as you can and see. there is anybody else. Nobody seems to be doing it. Oh, which, a couple have though, look. Yes, mm -hmm. I can see why they look. It's almost a vertical, well, past vertical by the looks, drop off down there. And I don't know if you... Everyone might have seen it on YouTube or on Facebook. There was a guy who tried to put his car down there with a trailer. The trailer ended up on top of the roof. So we're not doing that. Now apparently there's a bypass you can go around this way. We might have a look at that. But the guy I spoke to said it was a bit difficult to try and get up the steep sand on the other side. And I would probably struggle with the trailer. But we'll go and have a look and see what happens. There's a bypass crossing on Palm Creek. Well, that's uh, very steep. Looks like it's all sorts of angles. Whoa. So that's how it's done. All right. Did you come up already? Is that yours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yep, seat belt's on. <laughs> Getting serious now. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Low one? Low one? Alright, about there, give it a bit of gas. Not too much, 
traction control off. Yeah, I was in line. Traction control off. Give it eight, mate. Yeah, go, 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 go! 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 <laughs> Maybe, yeah, probably yeah. have the best Axel yeah, stay there, So that's Palm Creek. Uh, this is the bypass section that they've just done there. Uh, those three cars that I've filmed. So it's pretty gnarly coming down. Section here. And then, yeah, pretty gnarly getting up the other side. The fact that they struggled a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit without a trailer makes me think I'm probably not going to do that with a trailer on. Okay, so we went down, we had a look at that crossing, that's Palm Creek Crossing. Uh, even the Chicken Track Crossing, which is pretty gnarly in itself. Uh, we didn't go down that one because we got the trailer on, and there's no real way that I could get the car and the trailer lined up to go down the, uh, the embankment there, because uh, it has to be dead straight because of the walls on each side and there's not enough area around it to line everything up straight so the trailer would have been coming down and down there. yeah again because of the tree blocking the track um, so yeah, everyone was who didn't have trailers they were just going right up next to the tree then turning in and coming straight down and i would have had the trailer coming in at a bit of an angle and yeah it would have bounced in and eventually leveled up but i didn't want to break any more stuff i'm sick of breaking stuff so we're heading back and we'll find a free camp then we'll to um, take the Bamaga Road and do the bypass, then come back onto the telly track and then uh, check, it check it out again. Yeah, so that's how we're going to roll. And here we are, this is where we're going to camp tonight. Big fire going on over there. Uh, yep, so this is just another gravel pit camping area. It's a bit windy still. It's all right. but yeah, it's just a big open area. Free camp. That's what I like. I can't believe there's nobody else here. That's twice in a row. We turned up at a free camp. No one here. No, I don't mind that. Hey, all to myself. Yes. Check this thing out. Huge. There's two of them. Crazy. So this is called what? Howling Bingo rest area rest area yeah howling dingo rest area apparently dingoes come through here uh, make a racket and ha hear them howling around so yeah we'll see if we can hear that tonight when the sun goes down Ooh. completely Woo, that'll be fun hope they come around i'd like to see one so here we go we're heading off this morning went down uh, left the quarry campsite or the not the quarry one it was just the gravel pit one yeah whatever it was Howling Dingo, that's right. So now we're back onto the Teletrack bypass of Gunshot. So we're going to head down here. This should take us to Gunshot. And then we can have a look at Gunshot and then see how we go from getting 
cross that one, have a look at that. They're not going to cross gunshot itself, we'll but probably find bypass, uh, bypasses yeah. that we can go and try. Chicken tracks, if you want to call them that. Um, yeah, and we'll go see how that goes. Alright, so yeah, this is us heading down to gunshot. <laughs> well, this track's pretty <laughs> damn good. It's got some bloody uh, little tricky bits in it that you don't see coming, like a just went over a big whoop that well, I couldn't see and then like everything went airborne, come down again. <laughs> yes. I think mostly Everything's mostly strapped down, but there was some stuff that went up and down. Lucky it didn't come forward. This is a good fun track. Oh, it's, pretty it's pretty smooth in places, yeah. Pretty narrow, so you just gotta be careful about cars coming the other way. But yeah, pretty damn good. Well, here's one of those bumps. on the gunshot bypass still heading out towards gunshot yeah the tracks turned to shit it's just corrugated to hell apparently for the next 15 kilometers it's like this so everything will be shook up certainly kind of test out the suspension and how well we packed everything Tracks become a little overgrown, as in like trees hanging over it. Uh, everything's getting a little bit, uh, not so much the car, but the trailer, everything hanging on the side of the trailer, the awnings, just getting a little dust up. <laughs> but it got a bit smoother for a bit, and now we're back into the corrugations. Uh, this is fun. We're on the tally track. We're just uh, negotiating some pretty tight stuff right here, and now I've got to contend with trees on the side and and tipping into the trees is the trailer because of the awnings. The awnings are the problem. Oh man, that's fucking a massive lean. That's going to really lean this way again. It's gonna be bad, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Slowly does it, slowly does it, slowly does it. Big, big lean. No, don't do it now, slowly does it. Oh, oh there that's hot in your mouth tough that. If you could see what the trailer was doing, well you can see the angle of the car. It's a pretty shit angle. Alright, but I did it. Cool, that's a relief. There's nowhere to turn around as you can see, so... Well, there's a couple of pulling... There's a couple of pulling... That, well, we can't turn around. We can't turn around in them, but there's pull-offs for, obviously, when other like, traffic comes, which I'm dreading, if we do get another car in front of us. Holy be shit. Alright, we got through that. So we're off to gunshot at the moment. So this here is the uh, memorial site for William Joseph Brown. Uh, he was a linesman for the PMG department. Uh, and um, he's, he died, I assume he would have died work, while working out here um, on the 3rd of May 1945. Yeah, there you go. So we're still making our way along the telly track back towards Gunshot, so we're heading south um, just to go and have a look at Gunshot. It's pretty slow going, it's a pretty gnarly track to be honest. This is a good part right here, but there's some really big washouts and potholes and step ups. So it's pretty slow going. And the fact that it's pretty narrow too, and I've got to keep watching out for my awnings getting taken out by the trees. But yeah, still having fun. Yeah, so this is another one of those dodgy bits. 
see that in the zoom in on it. Pretty off camber sort of thing for a fair bit of the track there, right down, as far as I can see. Let's see how I go. I just know it's a pretty big lean for the trailer. I'm going to end up having to hug the wall on where the trees are. Just going to scrape everything. But we're going to do it down there. I'll get scrapes on both sides because I'm coming back. This will match. Darchie. The dart. She's going to get whacked up on the way back. Unless we take it off down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the things you do, eh? Mm. If I just had the car, it would be no problem. I'd just be down there. No dramas. Alright, we'll give it a whirl, see what happens. Here we go. <coughs> Once you commit, you're into it. That's what they say. Try to, but you know the trees, man. The trees are just so damn big. <laughs> the poor old thing's becoming a chopper. It's chopping down bloody tree. Oh, that's a big match and rip. <laughs> oh God. Well, we're in here. It's not falling over yet, so try not to make it fall over. Oh, that's the car. I don't need my car. Stop hitting my car! Oh yeah, it's coming through alright. Alright. Oh, there's another big tree. Boom! Take that tree. Now you're talking about the kick ass, are you? Yeah, I'm just smashing the kick ass awning, the kick ass shower awning, so this is where it gets a bit more gnarly because it's getting a really bit deeper. So we might take the Darchi off before we uh, come back. I don't want to bust that up. The kick ass seems to be handling. Ooh. Ooh, we just went past that one. Just. When I say just, he hit it, but just pushed it out of the way a little bit. It's kick ass. It's kick ass, that's right. Alright, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. We got through. Probably a lot of scratching on the side of the car and the trailer but it's through yay i think we're about a k and a half maybe two k's out we'll see when we get there some more fucking shit <laughs> oh, big holes everywhere man holy moly i'm not going down that we're going to do the chicken track on this one Up here, old girl. Yeah. That just looks horrendous. Right, so we're on the old chicken track. Around. Anyway. Wow, well, check out this for erosion. Water just racing through there. Big channel. Carved away. Still flowing. Can't be that far from gunshot. Surely. Alright, let's go see if we can get there. I've got to get through this gnarly little bit right here. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. This trailer seems to be going alright. So we'll see how we go. Here we go. So here it is the infamous gunshot. Yeah, I'm not got her in the video base. Yeah, I know, I saw her. Yeah, so you can see this. This is uh, obviously how you get up once you get across the creek. But yeah, massive, massive wheel lifts here. All right, we'll go down and have a look, eh? So this here is uh, the infamous gunshot. You've got the main one, which is that one there. And you've got 
one of the side ones, which is, yeah, <laughs> just as bad. But the water here is absolutely crystal clear. It's beautiful. I always put up a little swing. What a magic little spot. But Jesus, there's been some water like just ripping through here. Here you go, you can see some of the carnage of what's been left behind. More tracks in and out. How crazy. Let's go for a walk in the water. So here, these are some of the chicken tracks you can go down. There's one right in the corner, and next to it one there, one here, one here, one here, <laughs> uh, one there, and then one on the end there. But they all go into this sort of quagmire of goo. I mean, look at this, you come down, you hit that, I don't know how deep it is in there, you've got to try and climb over that and then chuck a hard right out there. Yeah, it hmm. many people have done it recently. Oh, it doesn't, <coughs> March flies, ow, he bit me. Yes, and then you've got the other quagmire here to get through once you get down. So yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'd even do that without the trailer. To crow in 6 a.m. Black rifle coffee, a few good friends. Watching the sun rise in a deer stand, hell yeah. That's my kind of country. Casting a ride out on the lake. Ice cold beer, dry tailgates. Watching the sunset fall asleep, hell yeah. That's my kind of country. Out where the green grass grows. It's just one stop sign to a simple life off a dead end road.